Okay, now we will check the vertical irregularities and horizontal irregularities. Okay, so for the vertical irregularities check, we have this table or we have this excel okay so that excel is to use for the soft story check for the vertical irregularities okay so for example i have here uh, stiffness along x and also along y Then I will go back to program. So we'll just display analysis results, structure results, story stiffness. Click OK. Then just uh, use the RSX. This will give you the stiffness along X. So I will just export to Excel. Okay, Excel. Then I can copy. I will ignore the upper row because that that is too small. That is just a cover of the stair or cover of the elevator. So it will not affect the overall performance of the building. Or I can also include include that one. Okay, so I will just paste here. So from the code, we have a from table 208-9 of the NECP 2015. A soft story is one in which the lateral stiffness is less than 70% of that in the story above or less than 80% of the, of the average stiffness of the three story above. Okay, for our checking along X, so we, we don't have... We don't have that value, so I will just export this one, then run this, copy, okay, paste here, then this is the checking. And uh, along X is regular structure. Then for along Y, I will just right click this one, then RSY. Then I will just right click export to Excel. Now I have this, uh, I want RSY. And I will just delete this one, for example. And I will just copy. Then paste it here okay so this is the value so regular for the 70 percent check and for the 80 percent check so we have a regular structure okay i will just don't save that one then don't save Okay, now we'll go back to another checking. So we're done in the vertical irregularities check. And we found out that our building is regular. Okay, for the another checking for the horizontal irregularities check, this is torsional amplification factor check also. We can, we can uh, compute the torsional amplification factor. Okay. So for example I have this Excel. Then I will just open the Excel. This is the Excel. And from here 
copy this data from wind load pattern so i need the i need the exposure data to have the width and depth of the building so let's say this is a dimensions of diaphragms so that is the length and width of the diaphragms where the building length and width is these values okay then that diaphragm or that geometry of the building will be paste here okay so from the table or from the defined load pattern i have wind x i will just get that one from here then i will just copy this one copy and paste it here so i will ignore the roof because the roof is too small compared to the typical floors in the roof of the building okay i have this values then for rs x max i want to have the story max and average drift okay that is for along x then i will go to to find that values i will go to display table show table then we'll go to displacement then i have to go to story max average drift okay this ratio if this is above 1.2 we have torsional irregularities so you can have it from the in ecp 2015 table uh, table the, 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 the checking is on table from the table to 8-10 i think that is to 8-10 so i'll go back to checking so you can uh, extract this uh, table this one and you have to paste it in the excel so for now i will extract this table and this one i will supply the data here from the program to excel okay story max average trip then i will choose my uh, response spectrum along x then the direction is along x and i will just export this one then paste it to this cell then i'll go to y direction so for the y direction i will just show you the y and this is for y then export right click and export to excel then i will just check this one control c you will uh see you will identify that the ratio of story max over average drift is more than 1.2 so this the torsional irregularities exist okay so i will go here for the y direction will just paste here and i will just let's say i just save this one and go back to x and uh, supply the values for story max average displacement so go back here to etabs control table i will just select this one story max average displacement and click ok then i have here rs x max then i have the direction along x just export it and this is the value we'll just copy the value then paste it here paste values only and for the y we'll just post paste it there 
Okay. This is for a long while. Control C and paste it here. This is the what well, did I just say? So for the x direction, you will see that we have a small discrepancy to one point two. So if the ratio of story max over average drift greater than one point two. You have to go to the table, NCP table, to eight dash. Na ten, I think ten. Or I can review that here in the. This one. Yes. Uh. It's table to 8 dash 10. So this one. Then you will uh, compute the amplification factor. Okay. So we have it here. So after supplying the after supplying the data, so we have here a building length 38.5. Then this is the AX value of AX. Then you have here eccentricity 5%, but we have here only 4.99. So the amplification factor here for the other stories is not required. But in second tour only. So we'll amplify the second floor. And for the along y axis, we have torsional irregularity axis from ground up to a uh, typical floor up to eight floor. So the eccentricity in e tabs along x will be override, or this is along y. Okay, control S. So, what is so this value will be uh, input to the tabs model. What what uh, what to do with these values? So, for example, I have the building length L Y, and here I have the building length L X. So, for example, I have this uh, building. I have here a uh, width, and this is the length. So, if I refer to this um, process, let's say RS X or RS Y, let's say RS X, then you have the center of mass here. Then you have the center of rigidity. Then you have here a minimum of five percent. But in this case, you exceeded the five percent. Then what to do is you will shift these uh, forces five. Let's say five uh, six point forty five. So that value will be here. For example, that value is here. So what to do is you will uh, adjust the this uh, value. Supposedly, if you don't have uh, eccentricity, this force, uh, this force from the dynamic force from this story. So I am referring to the plan. So for example, I have the elevation. I have this mass. I am referring to this mass. This is the center of mass. This one. Okay. I am referring to this uh, elevation. Then in plan, I will get this one. So from the code, you have to put the 5% minimum. 
So will you will shift the force or the 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 lateral force five percent. But in our case, we are irregular. We are we are having expecting torsional irregularities. Then you will shift this force or this story force. You will shift by six point fifty one percent. So what the input in the program is the uh, in meter so in meter so we will input this one so from the center of mass up to the up to 6.51 percent or up to this percentage of eccentricity you will getting the value of uh, 2.59 to this okay so we will input it to a tabs so the a tabs will shift this force by this value Okay, to generate the additional torsional effect on the building so that your column and your wall or up to foundation will be having a correct values of the quantity of the loads. Okay, so what to do? We'll go back to A tab. So for the second floor, I have a value of 1.92. So we'll just define cases, but you will, I think you will need to. Uh, unlock the model before you edit that values here rsx so we are dealing with this okay so that is the 5% required by the code now I will add so even though I am in I will try to do for the second floor. Okay. So 1.92 for second floor. So I will just input the ground the uh, story. So I will just put 1.92 here and I will click OK. I will click OK. I will click OK. So it's okay to input while uh even though we are uh even though the the program is lock okay so for this one we have here these values so so we have our sy modify then for this one I am dealing with this one, so this is 2.51 here. Let's say that is 2.51 ground floor. So we have a value already. So you can do this exercise. Then I will just click this one, click OK. Then they will just click OK. Then I will rerun the program. Then it will have a correct or shifted. Uh, force induced by this one okay then i will just save this one and close it okay so that is the checking of horizontal and vertical irregularities okay so this is the end of the video